here and welcome back to a new um, toy haul video on my channel and first and foremost happy new year everyone out there um, this is my first video um, this year on my channel and I am still as you can see in this Christmas uh, setup Christmassy um, look mood um, that's because this is actually my Christmas haul from well now from last year from 2021 um, until now I didn't really get the chance to uh, actually record my uh, Christmas haul uh, because it's, it's as you can see as usual the Christmas tree behind me is pretty like huge and it's kind of crowded here in my room at the moment so it's um, not easy to um, set everything up for recording and to um, you know just take pictures of the stuff that I got and uh, overall just to live in my room <laughs> uh, while the Christmas tree is here but I just thought that I will you know clear up a little bit of space and somehow um, record this video for you guys because uh, in a few days we are going to take down the Christmas tree I will get my room and uh, space back finally so that I can start like you know working and uh, uh, overall just doing my projects uh, but yeah, I just thought that I should uh, record uh, my Christmas haul in this Christmassy setup while it's still here. Now, uh, I think it's pretty late to actually wish you guys like a belated uh, Merry Christmas, but you know, at least the New Year is still uh, valid. So uh, yeah, Christmas. Um, this year, or last year, I I'm still getting used to that we are in the New Year. So, uh, this Christmas, I'm going to just call it like that, um, this Christmas was uh, pretty um, doll related one. So, uh, pretty much I got uh, a bunch of dolls and a few other bits and pieces too, but mostly dolls, uh, no action figures or anything like that, like for example last year. Um, which is okay, I mean, you know, I love dolls and uh, those are just something that were like more, um, how should I put it, so it was like more dolls that I wanted than action figures and the action figures I have on pre-order are uh, late, so they will stop showing up starting this month, January when I'm recording this. Uh, and uh, you know throughout the next month so uh, there wasn't really like any action figures that I could buy or get uh, from the newer uh, released ones that I want or the ones that are going to get uh, released and uh, yeah so it was that's that was the reason why I got mostly dolls uh, and as per usual guys uh, you if you follow my channel you already know that um, I usually get money from my parents and then I uh, buy stuff with that money and also I buy stuff for myself as well uh, so yeah um, that being said let's get into this haul so my main gift uh, I think I can call it that my main gift uh, is a, actually a laptop here it is it's an HP uh, laptop I honestly don't really know too much about the technical or technological stuff about it. Uh, what I know and I saw are good. So it's uh, it's not like like a super professional something because I don't plan on doing like big stuff on it. Like I still have my computer over here, my uh, PC, and I do most of my stuff and work and. Uh, editing and whatnot on the PC. It's just that my PC is really really old. Um, it's more than 10 years old guys and um, I eventually have to update it or up upgrade it actually. Upgrade it a little bit uh, but I still haven't got around to doing that. Uh, and sometimes the old, <laughs> old dude is a little bit slow uh, and it's driving me nuts. So um, this one can help me out with like answering uh, emails and answering I don't know comments or you know with my uh, virtual shop and overall just getting back to you guys uh, more quickly uh, I do 
kind of plan on. Um, by the way, guys, this video probably will be long because, as usual, I like to talk about the stuff a lot. Um, but yeah, I uh, think I'm thinking about uh, bringing the video editing program and stuff that I use for my videos on this laptop from my PC because uh, again, it just uh, moves the laptop moves way quicker, and I think it I could. Uh, I don't know, just spare my old uh, PC from the struggle with editing and, uh, you know, saving videos because I can hear it um, that he is struggling with that. So uh, I may move that over to the laptop and, um, yeah, overall it's just good to have it here. I do want to start, like, actually, like, uh, writing as well. I've been planning on it for, like, uh, the past year uh, because I have a big project uh, that I'm planning on with my uh, Monster High OCs or own characters so yeah a whole bunch of stuff so this really comes in handy um, it was a surprise too a, a pretty big surprise so um, yeah and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty um, satisfied with it <laughs> this one actually it was an online order and it actually uh, arrived on Christmas on the day of Christmas Eve so it was just a perfect timing um, and I also got a uh, fan with it so you know when uh, around the summer time uh, especially it comes around uh, it could help the, with the cooling with the laptop the cooling of the laptop uh, I don't have it here because it's just a fan so it's not <laughs> that uh, like interesting but uh, yeah so I am pretty uh, happy with this uh, piece now uh, moving on I'm going to show you guys the other smaller stuff and then move on to the dolls so uh, I only got one uh, book for myself um, and it's a pretty small book actually uh, I got some books for my folks for um, you know for Christmas as presents I ordered some uh, online and uh, when I saw this I just couldn't pass it because uh, it's just again such a happy uh, and kind of rare over here uh, in my country uh, well actually I ordered the books from Hungary from the, our neighboring country but you know um, it's still a pretty rare find in my opinion um, it's this small uh, it's basically a children's book uh, but it's of the mummy uh, and you know guys how much I absolutely love the mummy uh, movies and I always try to find basically any kind of merchandise that I can get my hands on uh, this is from the Penguin Readers um, Scholastic book. It's for uh, like the second, um, where it says, the second, uh, I don't know, second grade or something like that. Uh, so it's basically like a uh, elementary school difficulty. It's an English book. Uh, <laughs> and... Um, I just got it because it's about the mummy and it was like around 4 euros in price. It's a used book but honestly it's just in tip top shape. It's like uh, originally it was supposed to come with a uh, cassette, um, a, a record, but um, it no longer has that. But I, I'm, I'm honestly fine with it. Uh, and I really like it because it's basically the first movie is like... Um, story plot something uh, I haven't read it yet I will uh, but it's really nice and it has pictures in it guys uh, like colored pictures uh, from the movie uh, and you know it's just <laughs> here we have uh, Brandon Fraser as uh, O'Connell uh, he's really like charming on this picture and I mean on the front it's my favorite character it's Emotep so you know guys how much I absolutely uh, love him there's also this really nice picture of him inside he's really uh, good looking <laughs> and uh, yeah so I just I just couldn't when I saw this um, book uh, as a even though as a second hand uh, like um, listed on that website from where I uh, bought the all, all the other books uh, I just couldn't pass on it I mean it's, I just needed it in my collection in my book collection and in my like 
the mommy uh, merchandise uh, collection so I'm really happy with this one and the last of the smaller stuff by the way I don't know I, I have I gathered all of my um, Christmas uh, presents over here but I still have this feeling inside me that I forgot about something and I don't know what it is I don't know maybe after the video I will remember it but I I, I, I still I can't shake this feeling that I forgot about something sorry about that guys Hope, hopefully I didn't but uh, and yeah the last small gift that I uh, got for myself is this uh, another tea book and you know ever since my uh, if you saw my um, birthday haul from uh, you know from last year uh, you know that I started drinking uh, green and black tea and it's it's really just great I, I drink three tea uh, almost three <laughs> I drink trees <laughs> I d uh, drink tea almost uh, every evening like almost almost every evening and uh, it's, it's just really, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. And uh, this is, uh, again, from uh, the same company, Basilur, because I really like their tea. Um, and this is, the again, from the winter collection, as you can see. This really nice icy blue and really nice picture on the front. Uh, you will be able to see it on the pictures that will appear on the screen a little bit better. Um, this is Volume 1. So I was finally able to find Volume 1... Um, uh, in the store, in one of the supermarkets over here, I have volume three. Hopefully, sometime volume two or four and five, because this um, winter uh, collection has five volumes, will show up. Uh, because I do want to grab all of them. Um, this is black tea, and it actually has. Um, let's see the ingredients if you are interested in it. So this is uh, pure uh, Ceylon black uh, tea. Um, it has uh, corn flour in it, jasmine buds, and blue malva. Honestly, I haven't checked yet online what, what exactly, what kind of plant blue malva is, but uh, inside you can see the little blue uh, petals, and it looks really uh, cool too, like really um, unique. And uh, it also has a uh, roasted almond flavor, and honestly, guys, it just has such a uh, interesting uh, taste to it. I really, really love it, and um, it's like I don't know. It kind of uh, reminds me, or gives me, gives me the the um, taste of like vanilla. Um, I don't know why, uh, but it has like that kind of flavor as well. So yeah, it it's a uh, really. Um, just great the book looks itself the case actually because it's not like an actual book uh, and you know it, it opens up it has the the inside um, and I can still smell it just from the way I open the book uh, but yeah it's just really really um, tasty and I really really like it uh, actually I think I like this one uh, better than the third volume so yeah I am I'm really uh, hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that uh, volume 2 will eventually show up or the other volumes and uh, I will be able to add it to my tea collection <laughs> I guess you can call it that so um, now moving on to the dolls so I have multiple uh, dolls over here um, not sure with which uh, category should I start with uh, I guess I'm going to start off with rainbow high and oh my god this box is just super heavy <sighs> <laughs> and you can uh, probably already tell that this isn't like a regular size box uh, because it is heavy. So from Rainbow High, I was I'm kind of um, behind with the collecting. You know, I was able to collect the full series one and full series two plus the exclusive uh, Kaya Hearts. And ever since like basically August uh, I didn't get any Rainbow High dolls and I am really really like behind now with the series 3 dolls and all of the other extras that came out honestly I am not really happy with what what MGA is doing now because they are starting to really like rush the production and really just rush on with the dolls and just you know like um, releasing those like one after another and another one and a new exclusive and a new line and 
uh, I, I can see that the quality of the dolls and um, yeah the basically the quality of the dolls are is starting to go downwards and you know we are getting like wonky eye dolls and broken dolls and uh, rerouting I mean not rerouting rooting problems and uh, you know dolls with two left feet or two left hands or or stuff like that and honestly um, it's starting to remind me of what Mattel did with Monster High with you know rushing all the new series and uh, just rushing the production and I don't like it um, it's starting to get like really Again, I'm getting that same feeling as with Monster High, that all of it is like, kind of like a, um, like a competition or, uh, or something like that, that you have to just, you can't really just enjoy the dolls themselves when you get them, because you're already thinking about the fact that you need to get like, uh, how will I, uh, be able to buy all these dolls and you just get this feeling of anxiety and um, frustration and I don't know if you are a doll collector you doll collector you kind of know what I'm talking about at least I hope you uh, understand so uh, with Rainbow High I am still collecting them but I am um, trying to not uh, how should I put it? I'm trying to not cause myself this anxiety feeling and this rush and just trying to not collect every single new character. I would love to, but the dolls, uh, they are like releasing dolls with too much extra stuff that I honestly don't really feel like it's necessary. But you know, when you put new uh, more stuff in the boxes you can you know raise the prices more and yeah that's marketing and with all those extra stuff like I mean the extra outfits too I, I put them on for the video for the reviews for you guys but that's about it after that I just you know dress them up in one outfit put them on display and that's about it and the other outfit is just stuck in my uh, wardrobe and it's just there because I, I I don't I'm not going to buy an extra doll to just display it with with that outfit. That's not that's not my style. And with all these extra stuff in the boxes, I just feel like it's just throwing money out the window because I don't really need it. I don't really care for it. If I want to make doll clothes, I can make doll clothes. So yeah, it's just something that I am not really fond of. So I'm thinking about not getting like. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like the, the sleepover line because I don't know those dolls are really pretty don't get me wrong I really like them but they just don't fit in my display with all the other characters uh, because they have like uh, pajamas on and the other dolls have like you know regular clothes so it does not doesn't really fit um, and now this, we have this new like beach line coming out and ag again I have the same feeling that I just, they are just not like, they don't fit in with the whole look of the collection and uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to skip this, these lines even though they have like new characters in them, they are just not worth for me uh, to get them. So I'm just going to stick to the probably the basic line and a few extras. Like for example, Jet Dawson is like I really want her, but again she comes with extra stuff that I don't really care for, and she's really expensive because of that. I really like the Rocker line too, but again too expensive. So sorry guys, this is like <laughs> also like a opinion video, um, so whole slash opinion video, but that's just how I feel, and I wanted to explain this. So yeah, I'm very behind with the collecting and I'm even way more behind with the reviews and you know that, but I will try to keep up as best as I can and whenever I have uh, time to record for you guys. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I finally started collecting the third series of the dolls. Even though now all of the dolls are sold out in stores over here, so hopefully they will receive a new shipment of them eventually. Uh, but yeah, 
So one of the extras that I uh, wanted in my collection uh, is the special edition and again it's, it, it was expensive. It was the two pack of the twins. So we have here a uh, Laurel and Holly Devious. Um, now these girls are really cool. I really like them. Um, I honestly, I really, really like their characters. I know a lot of people don't really like them because they are mean, but that was, that's their um, like purpose in the show. Uh, we needed some mean girls in the show, not just you know uh, good and nice ones. And I really, really like them. I really love the how they look, how they act. Uh, how overall, I just really, really like think that these are just super pretty dolls. Um, this was a online order from uh, Slovakia, uh, from a website where I, I, I lately I've been buying stuff from them. Um, they are really like uh, dependable and really like just you know trustworthy, uh, a trustworthy shop. And uh, the box itself is with two dolls. It's kind of heavy, too, and it was uh, again pretty expensive. And as you can see, I will of course do a reviews of these girls whenever I get around it. Um, but again, this box, uh, again, it's it's way too big. It could have been smaller, you know, to, to reduce the um, the cost of uh, of uh, making it. But also, it has like an extra pair of shoes and an extra pair of uh, earrings. And comes with these um, see-through plastic uh, storage boxes. In my opinion, those are absolutely unnecessary. Like, why? It just you could have you could have just had like a smaller box with the two dolls and maybe those two purses that they come with, and that's about it. With, and of course the stand and whatnot because that's probably inside over here. And that's about it. So those. Or just extra stuff that again it's just my opinion guys but those are just extra stuff to uh, you know to raise the cost uh, and to raise the price of uh, this set and I honestly don't really care for those all of my dolls have like shoes so I don't really need like extra shoes with them or uh, but yeah my opinion being said the dolls are absolutely gorgeous and they are worth getting in my opinion so I'm really happy that I finally was able to add um, the girls to my uh, Rainbow High collection and um, yeah you will be able to see a review of them sometime in the future I'm, I'm not sure when because as I said before I'm really behind with all of my uh, reviews uh, and from series 3 um, of Rainbow High I also uh, got my two favorite girls so I still need to get four uh, four more uh, of them and I was really surprised by the um, by the colors that I picked as favorites uh, well of course I'm not going by the colors because um, if I would have uh, went with the colors I would have probably like picked Emmy and um, uh, what's her uh, face um, Daphne uh, I really like them as well but I don't know just these two girls are my favorites from the series 3 line first off we have the marigold uh, color and this is Cheryl uh, Meyer I absolutely love this girl and the show she's just so funny she's such a like blonde <laughs> And I, I just I, I just really love her and of course her outfit is super cute as well. I really love this uh, checkered fabric and her second outfit is really um, really cool as well. I just overall really really uh, love her, how she looks. She is super pretty and by the way uh, these two girls, you will be able to see the second one in just a second, were online orders as well. And I'm really really happy that their faces are uh, pretty much perfect, no flaws or anything. Uh, with the twins either so I was uh, lucky uh, before ordering these I actually saw these like uh, in the store uh, I saw them in October back back in October in a uh, local like toy store but uh, 
they were more expensive over there in the toy store than online so that's why I decided to get them online uh, but yeah so Cheryl is um, is uh, my uh, favorite out of all of the all of the um, um, girls from the third series and the other one that's my second favorite in this uh, series 3 is the rose color and this is uh, Daria Rosalind I really love the name Daria it reminds me of the you know the old MTV series Daria um, but yeah she is super pretty I really love her uh, she has this kind of rocker vibe to her because she's also like a singer and uh, she is really really happy gorgeous colors the, that rose pink color and black is just really nice um, it's all of it it's like in harmony and I really love her second outfit as well it's just really like chic and really 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 uh, lovely um, and now I guess I can tell that uh, we have the other girls over here in the back from series 3 my third favorite character uh, or look and character as well from uh, series 3 is Emmy Wanda because Wanda is also my name so I really really want her uh, to get get her next and um, Daphne too because Daphne Minton is I honestly when I first saw the like the leaked photos of these uh, series 3 girls I thought that um, Daphne is going to be for sure my favorite because I really love mint color but um, I'm not a big fan of her face if that makes sense because these uh, series 3 girls got like new face molds and different face molds uh, so a nice variety of uh, new face molds which is uh, great but I don't know I'm just not a big fan of uh, how Daphne's face looks but otherwise I really love the color so uh, I'm really looking forward to getting her and uh, Gabriella and Georgia um, they are okay as well as as I said before I saw these girls like uh, in the shop like in real life um, they are really cute and pretty as well they are just not my favorites they are the my least favorites from this series but I do plan on getting them as well eventually so I do want all of the girls from series 3 but I'm happy to have uh, my uh, most favorites uh, as of now so yeah those are all the rainbow high um, um, dolls that I got for Christmas and I was also lucky enough and uh, I was really happy with these. I got some uh, LOL OMG dolls. Uh, you know, I, I really really love OMG dolls and lately I was able to get uh, some for uh, myself. But uh, now I was lucky enough to find uh, three of them on sale, guys. So, you know, I really would love to collect like OMG dolls too but they are just more expensive for, for uh, than you know Rainbow High dolls and they come with less stuff than Rainbow High um, so that's a bit uh, weird in my opinion they are really detailed and nice but you know again with uh, LLMG it's the fact that you can't see the doll inside the box so it's like um, trying to win the lottery with, with getting these because uh, you don't know how messed up the face is uh, on the doll inside the box thank god if you saw some of the newer releases and the newer uh, LOL OMG dolls that's going to come like pretty soon now uh, have finally they made the new type of boxes where you can actually see the doll inside and see their face so you can finally just uh, choose the one with the perfect like uh, face and makeup and, and whatnot uh, but these are still like the older releases and uh, I am keeping my fingers crossed whenever I do reviews of these and open them that they will have like if not perfect like decent uh, face ups but that being said I would love to have like a bunch of LLMG dolls I have so many favorites but I just have to like really select the ones that I I, I get and uh, you know to be able to afford some other stuff as well like Rainbow High and like all of my other obsessions and collections but yeah these were on sale and I was really happy uh, and I just couldn't pass on this um, 
chance and occasion to get some of my favorites. So I got uh, one more of the Series 1 Twins. So these aren't OMG doors, these are actually Twins, but you know, I like to put them in the same category as OMG dolls because, I don't know, it's just what it reminds me of. So, you know, I um, a few months ago uh, I got the first my first ever twin doll and that was the freshest. You know, the cute little doll with the blue hair, blue and black hair. I already did a review of her and it's up on my channel, you can go ahead and watch it. And this was the other uh, girl that I really liked from the first series. I, don't get me wrong, again, I really like all of them but I just I'm just choosing my favorites. Um, and this is, uh, what's her name, Cherry BB. Uh, so this is her box. There is this nasty big uh, price sticker over here, but um, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, so from the four girls, Freshness was my favorite and Cherry BB was my second favorite because she has this rockabilly style. And you know, I really love rockabilly style. Uh, after punk style, rockabilly style is my um, favorite as well. So, uh, yeah, I just couldn't pass on getting her. She, was, uh, she wasn't, like, on a big sale, but she was uh, 23 euros, which is um, a good price compared to the original price that I paid for uh, Freshest. So, um, yeah, I just thought that I should get at least one more of the Twin Dolls. We'll see if I will get more of these uh, from the, you know, the second series, which is kind of already showing up at stores in the US, not over here, but I'm pretty sure they will come over here eventually. Um, I will see if I will get uh, some of those, but for now I'm sticking with these uh, two, like Precious and Cherry BB, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to unbox her and uh, see how she looks. She is super cute, and by the way, if you already didn't know, cherry is my favorite uh, fruit, so cherry BB is just really for me. <laughs> um, and the other two OMG dolls, or uh, like OMG dolls, like the larger uh, uh, girls, um, and one of them is like I actually pretty old, a pretty old uh, release. Uh, so I'm guessing that's why they went on sale to just you know get rid of the stock. Uh, but I wanted this doll for, uh, again, so long, and I was also, uh, I think I mentioned that in my birthday haul video when I got, um, uh, what's her name? I keep forgetting their names because they are, they have, like, these weird names. Um, from the Dance, Dance, Dance line, I got, uh, I, I, I can't remember her name, sorry guys, uh, it was the Cyber Chick. Cyber style, um, beautiful uh, doll. I can't remember her name right now. Uh, it's my my review of her is up on the channel, so you can um, go and watch it. So I was also when I when I in the in the end when I talked about this in the, my uh, birthday haul video, when I chose her, this doll was also like a candidate <laughs> for uh, choosing her as my uh, birthday gift. But in the end, I decided not to. Um, and I'm, I'm glad because I was able to get her like on almost like 50% uh, off. Yeah, it was almost 50% off. It was like 80% off or something. Uh, and she was the last one over there too. So I was really just grabbed it and didn't let go of this box. I was just so happy. So this is from the music remix uh, line. And from this line, I got like... Uh, about a year ago, I, I think it was in, back in February last year, when I got the two-pack, and those were my first ever uh, OMG dolls too, the um, two-pack of uh, Punk Girl and Rocker Boy. So this is the other girl that I wanted from this series, and this is Lone Star. So she is the country style girl, and I don't know why, because I am not a huge fan of, of uh, country music, like almost at all, I, I don't really listen to country music, but something about this doll that just really like, I don't know, grabbed me, I don't know, uh, I just really, really like her, and I wanted her for such a, a long time, by the way, pretty heavy box, um, here are all the other girls, uh, and the other one that was like on sale over there, and it was still on the shelf, was Pop BB, don't get me wrong, she is also really cute, but I just... Uh, 
had to get a uh, Lone Star. So yeah, I'm looking forward to unboxing her and uh, again keeping my fingers crossed that her face is in like decent. Uh, it has a decent uh, like face paint. It says 25 surprises. I'm guessing it's um, one of those. It's heavy because uh, her box also is, has, has that feature like it uh, plays music. Oh yeah, it says right over here the spin spin uh, record to play music. So yeah, that's why originally these dolls were more expensive than the regular ones. But you know, 80% off like not 80% off. What am I talking about? Sorry guys, it wasn't 80% off. It was like 40% off. Because I say that it wasn't like half price, uh, but it was also half price. So it's not not 80%. It was 40% off. <laughs> I can't calculate. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, um, it wasn't like a huge sale, but it was a pretty nice one. So yeah, and last but not least, and this is the really the last uh, gift uh, that I got for myself. Another doll, another OMG doll that I really, really wanted uh, was from the OMG BFF or Best Friends Forever uh, series. And this is actually the second set of BFFs that was uh, released. And uh, originally when I grabbed this doll off the shelf, it did not say that it was on sale. So it don't, did not have like any indication. I thought it was like a full price doll, but I just thought that, hey, you know, it's Christmas, it's coming up. I want to get something nice for myself. Uh, something that I wanted for a, a, a long time, like ever since I saw the the promo pictures of these dolls. So I was like going to the cash uh, cashier with uh, this uh, doll, like all happy. I'm giving my, I have a, a Fidelity card over there too and uh, giving my card. And the woman over here, over there, the cashier says that um, it does not take the card because apparently the doll is already on sale. So, you know, you cannot use the card. Uh, which the card gives you like 5% off, so it's not like a huge deal or anything, but you know, it's still something <laughs> and I was like It does not say on the box or over there on the shelf where the doll was that it's on sale and she she checks the the uh, The screen uh, in front of her again and says that well, it's still on sale So I guess not all of the boxes have this the sale sticker on them and I was like, okay fine with me <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, it wasn't like a huge sale, it was like 20% off maybe, or 10% off, so it's nothing like huge, but I was still really happy that it was, you know, like a really nice surprise, Christmas surprise <laughs> for me, and uh, this is a Moonlight BB, as I said before, from the BFF series, and she is the goth chick from the OMG dolls, and you know how much I just love these like goth and punk and rocker style and you know just over these all these I guess you could call them darker style uh, fashion trends and dolls whenever a doll wears like these darker um, styles is just such a great uh, thing in my opinion because they are aren't like a lot of dolls with these styles they're more of more of most of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are um, more with uh, like girly fashion styles, which is okay, but you know, I still prefer sometimes a little bit of diversity. And the Moonlight Baby is just a absolutely gorgeous doll, and I can't wait to unbox her and see how uh, she looks. By the way, her uh, BFF uh, Sunshine Girl was also like ordered in the store, but I really like her, but she's not like my super favorite, so. I'm just happy to have uh, Moonlight BB in my collection now. And yes, so I can see that these regular doors uh, come with uh, 20 surprises, while the Remix one comes with 25. So, yes, that kind of um, that kind of uh, explains the price differences with these dolls. And that's the Remix one was like a main line, and the BFF is just like a uh, secondary line. So. I understand, even though uh, 
Now Lone Star was actually more cheaper than the, this one, so it was worth the wait. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this was uh, the last uh, doll that I got for this Christmas, and actually the last um, gift too, because that concludes my uh, Christmas presents or Christmas gifts haul for 2021. And uh, yeah, I'm just really uh, happy with all the stuff that I got and I bought for myself because uh, quite a few of these dolls were... Uh, I just went to the shop, went to the stores and bought them for myself, <laughs> gifts for myself. Um, yeah, so uh, that's about it uh, for this video too, guys. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see the reviews of these dolls don't know when but hopefully sooner than later and I have a bunch of other dolls and figurines that I still need to like open up and review for you guys so I really need to just um, get to work and start um, start recording a bunch of <laughs> reviews and uploading them to um, to YouTube and uh, hopefully with the new laptop I will be able to work a bit faster I guess I will try and uh, tell me down below in the comments what do you think of all the stuff that I got uh, which one of these dolls is your favorite do you have them in your collection what do you think of the rant uh, that I made about the about the constant rush of the releasing the new dolls from Rainbow High what do you think is that a good thing it's is it a bad thing uh, do you also like plan on just selecting and just getting the ones that you like and you know skipping the other dolls or you still on just still just want to get all of the dolls if you collect them at all so yeah just tell me what do you think of um, that and uh, yeah overall just comment anything you want <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys in the next video hopefully a review and soon thank you guys so much for watching and again happy new year to all of you bye